And we're trying to have better, more ease in posture. We have to look at what gets in the way. What are those things that we struggle against? And one of the most frequent things I find in people who say they really have bad posture is what I call stiff kyphosis. Now, kyphosis is the natural curve of the upper back. It is normal that this is a little bit curved. So it shouldn't look like a hunchback, but there is normally a bit of a curve. But it should also be normal that we're able to move this and that we're able to counteract that curve. So the normal flexibility within that area is about that you're able to just straighten the spine completely up if you work at it. The way to do this is to really just push the chest forward. So you come forward with the breastbone and that flattens it out between the shoulder blades. Now for people who have bad body awareness and who haven't really worked with themselves and who might not know what's going on in their back if they're not looking at it, it really helps to work with a mirror and to add some tactile feedback to actually touch their back between the shoulder blades. And the easiest way also to check for this mobility is if you're bending forward. Now this depends really on how long your hamstrings are. For people who are very flexible, they can really just lean all the way forward. They can even make their back parallel to the floor. For people who are not flexible in the hamstrings, that would be a sharp stretch. So they would be up here and they can just lean their hands and it's enough to just feel this little bit of a tug in the hamstrings. That has the purpose of anchoring the pelvis because otherwise what's going to happen is just overarching in the low back when we're trying to move the spine. So from here, once you've found your spot where with a straight back, you just feel the hamstrings engaging a little bit, then you can really test how much mobility you have between the shoulder blades. So put your hand, if you can, all the way up in here or ask a friend to help you out. With this kind of feedback, you really feel what you're doing in your back and you get much better information than if you're just trying to guess. So from here, you just try to just bend your back like a cat would and then just flatten it out. So it's almost like you want to let the belly hang down. You want to bring the chest forward. Now feel under your hand how much movement there really is when you do this. And while you're watching this video, because I am flexible in the hamstrings, you probably see I'm cheating in the low back because here the flexibility is much easier. So in order to stop myself from doing that, I need to bend forward a lot more. And then I can do the movement truly in the upper back and hold the lower back still. So I'm not cheating anymore. This for me is huge progress. Because in the past, I used to have this typical stiff kyphosis, and that led me to have very much tension in the upper shoulder area, a lot of tension in the neck, a lot of headaches triggered from that, because I was always stuck in this position. And only over the last few years of doing a lot of exercises and getting the rolfing treatments for myself, I got out of this. So if this is you and you feel like when you're doing these tests, there really is very little movement or when you have a friend touch you and check on you and they say you're always in this bent forward position, you might want to get a good body worker to help you work out the tension in those areas. But you'll also need to build the awareness of how you can move your spine. So you can look up a few of the videos for spinal alignment that I have here. Just follow this link and learn to move your spine.